time. What if I ask you to close your eyes and move in a pleasant place? Over the past few months, I did a research among family, friends, colleagues, and strangers. I asked them to close their eyes and move in a pleasant destination, and I did these questions. Where are you? How is the weather? And what do you hold? The 50% of them were at the beach, summer months, and they were holding a cold, refreshing drink. The other 50% were at the mountain, cool weather, and they were holding a warm, syrupy textured drink. Today, through my two signature coffee cocktails, I'll try to move you this pleasant place. Let's start with my cold beverage drink. For them that a pleasant place is a warm weather destination, I created a cold, refreshing, sweet and sure coffee cocktail, which is name is Pancelinos. The coffee that I'm using is from Panama, Canas Verdes Advocate, and more specific, Abufar. The variety is Gesa, with delicate floral aroma and smooth texture. The altitude is 1,800 meters above the sea level, at the slopes of Baru Volcano, the volcanic soil, the tropical climate and the altitude are the key elements of characteristics that make this coffee exceptional with an amazing fruity and flora character. The process separated into phases. The phase one is a natural fermentation in open tanks for 24 hours and the second phase is a dry anaerobic fermentation for 72 hours for break down the proteins and the sugars in the coffee mucilage. After the fermentation is finished, the cherries are transferred to large African beds until the humidity reaches around 12%. The coffee has been roasted seven days ago, and the recipe that I work with is 21 grams in to 40 out, and I'm extracting my espresso in a cold cup in order to keep all of the confused of the aromas in my cup. Now, the first ingredient that I'm using is strawberry cordial, which I prepared as I left equal parts of fresh strawberry, wet sugar, and fresh strawberry juice in an aerobic environment for 24 hours in the fridge. This mix first looked like that, and after filtering, I added 3% of malic acid, and that's the final result, which I am using 10 ml. Combined with the next ingredient of 5 ml of creme de cassis. These two ingredients help to highlight the fruit and juicy notes, both of my coffee and my final drink. The next ingredient that I prepared is lemon oleosa harum, which I prepared as I left equal parts from lemon peels, black sugar, and fresh lemon juice in an aerobic environment for 12 hours in the fridge. This mix first looked like that, and after filtering, that's the final result, which I am using 10 ml, combined with the last ingredient of 15 ml of pink grapefruit soda. The last two ingredients help to highlight the citrus acidity and the slightly fizzy texture of my final drink. For spirit, I am using a perfectly match with Coffs profile. Don Julio Reposado, matured at Oak Barrel for eight months with notes of a mix of fruits like pear, apple, and lemon. From a tequila, I am using 35 ml to enhance the sweetness and the fruit characteristics of my final drink. And finally, my chilled espresso, of course. Now, excuse me, I'm going to make some noise. As you noticed, I am using the shaking method. This is because through shaking with two big ice cubes, the dilution of the mix is around 10%. But most important is creating a silky texture of my final drink. After I say it hard, I strain my mix and I serve it in a frozen glass with a big ice cube at a temperature of almost 5 degrees Celsius. This low temperature helps to highlight the citric acidity, creates synergy with tequila and all ingredients by dilution, creates silky mouthfeel with long aftertaste. 
and help to find a toll of your ship's flavors of. Mandarin, fresh apricot, and sweet lemon. For finishing touch, I garnish with a frozen leaf of a lemon tree to give a more botanical aroma to the final result. As a lover of sweet and sour cocktails, I would serve that in a bar restaurant in an island at summer months after dinner as you are waiting for dessert. In front of you, there are, there are the menus. Don't hesitate to take a look for misty formations about Vanselinos. And now, please, enjoy. Are you ready to continue? Yes, perfect. Now let's continue with my warm cough cocktail. For them that a pleasant place is a cool weather destination, I created a warm syrupy textured drink, which is name is Autumn Sonata. The coffee that I'm using is an Amber Lotus 77 from El Salvador, and more specific, Los Pirineos Farm. The variety is bourbon with tropical character and long after taste. The altitude is 1,600 meters above the sea level and combined with honey carbonic maceration process has a result of enhancing yellow tropical and juicy stone fruit flavors with intensity and great mouthfeel. The coffee has been roasted five days ago and the recipe that I work with is 20 grams of coffee to 300 grams of water at 94 degrees Celsius. I follow a three-pool method with a bloom at 40 grams and I let the coffee for a proper gas 20 seconds. Then 130 grams in, in circles, as acids turn to sweetness, and 130 grams in the middle to balance my cup. For a brew device, I am using a ceramic V60 dripper combined with Sibaris paper filter for more control and clarity result to engage the tropical characteristics and the malic acidity of my coffee. Now, the first ingredient that I'm using is pineapple cordial, which I prepared as I left equal parts from fresh pineapple, white sugar and fresh pineapple juice in an aerobic environment for 24 hours in the fridge. This mix first looked like that, and after filtering, I added 3% of malic acid, and that's the final result, which I am using 20 ml. Combined with the next ingredient of 10 ml of peach liqueur, these two ingredients help to highlight the fruity and juicy notes, both of my coffee and my final drink. Last ingredient that I prepared is salted caramel white chocolate. As I mix two parts of salted caramel and one part of clarified white chocolate to enhance the nutty character and the crispy texture of my final drink. From this mix, I am using 15 ml. For spirit, I am using a perfectly match with cost profile again. Don Julio Reposado, maturit, at American Barrel for 18 months with notes of agave, wood and vanilla. From a tequila I am using 50 ml to enhance the, the tropical characteristics and the sweetness of my final drink. I'm stirring all the ingredients together till homogenized and I serve the autumn sonata at the temperature of almost 45 degrees Celsius. This is the perfect temperature to highlight the tropical aromas and flavors of my coffee to create synergy with tequila and all ingredients to create silky mouth, syrupy mouthfeel, excuse me, and helps to find at all of your sips flavors of sweet lime, caramelized pineapple, and milk chocolate at the finish. This would be a perfect choice for an afternoon early drink at the mountainous bar or restaurant. Please enjoy it after call my time. And don't hesitate to take a look for misinformation about my drink and the menus in front of you. 
they are judges. He doesn't need to close my eyes and move my place and place. <clears throat> because I am already here in this magnificent coffee contest, representing my country of Greece. I share my cocktails to you. It was my pleasure. My name is Yanis, and it was my time. Time, and thank you very much, Yanis, representing Greece.